Hello, Pat Gelsinger here. I'm just about to get on the plane to come to Taiwan. And I am so excited to get back to Taiwan, a place I visited on many occasions, but COVID has delayed me getting back since becoming the CEO of Intel. We are still very mindful of COVID safety precautions, so I'll only get to see a few of you in person, which is why I've put together a short video message to share my thoughts with everyone. As you've heard me say before, the digitization of everything has been markedly accelerated by COVID, spurring rapid innovation and new models of working, learning, and interacting. This transformation created a cycle of explosive growth and demand for semiconductors, which are critical to our modern economies. At the heart of much of this is innovation in digitization is Taiwan home to an entire vibrant ecosystem that weaves together technology, culture, business, and competition together as a hub in our industry. It is nothing short of amazing what Taiwan has become in the last several decades. Taiwan is also home to more than a thousand wonderful Intel employees who have been working closely with our Taiwan customers and partners for the last 36 years to deliver leadership products. And prominent among these partnerships is our longstanding relationship with TSMC. TSMC has unlocked the magic of silicon for us and others in the industry in so many ways, creating products that would otherwise never have existed. What TSMC has done is spectacular. Now, more than ever, semiconductors are in the spotlight. Without semiconductors, everything stops. The shortage that we are all grappling with has highlighted the importance not only of semiconductors, but of supply chains. We, the semiconductor industry, need to find a global solution that satisfies the incredible demand for our technology. We must build factories faster, run them at higher yields, install more equipment, and do so in a way that balances the global supply chain for the future. This means factories in multiple geographic locations here in Taiwan and in other key locations around the world. This is what will give us all the secure, resilient supply chains we need to continue to grow and innovate. When I took on the role of CEO of this iconic company just 10 months ago, I vowed to not only revive its fortunes, but also have it play a part in solving this shortage. Our goal is ensuring a global and national innovation engines are healthy for decades to come. That's why we have been investing in Intel's global manufacturing network, including significant new investments planned for the US and Europe. We will also continue to invest in Taiwan and build upon the incredible ecosystem to drive innovation. At Intel, we look forward to continuing to have a strong presence here because our employees and our ecosystem partners in Taiwan are critically important to Intel, the tech industry, and to the world. Thank you for the partnership and hard work in 2021. I look forward to continued collaboration and innovation in the year ahead.